Tonight, extreme weather turning deadly as millions clean up from a severe storm that slammed the East Coast. A 20-year-old skier died in icy conditions on New Hampshire's Mount Washington. Two others were injured, authorities said late today, according to the Associated Press. Meanwhile, two hours away, homes were submerged on New Hampshire's coast. These images recorded by Henry Swenson. If you could describe in one word some of the images that we're seeing, what word would that be? Uh, heartbreaking. And down south, Charleston, South Carolina, also hit particularly hard by the deluge. Uh, it's locked up. It's not. Is it even neutral? Yeah. Some drivers were left stranded and relied on help from others to move waterlogged cars. You need a hand, man? The flooding so bad in some spots. Firefighters were called out to escort people out of homes and businesses. Up the 95 corridor in Toms River, New Jersey, the downpours just as dramatic. Pretty heavy. Winds are gusting. Wow. What a night. In Queens, New York, this backseat passenger at times looking like he was braving rough seas instead of city streets. That's crazy. The severe weather didn't just stop there. In Echo, Alabama and Southeast Georgia, the National Weather Service saying tonight tornadoes were responsible for sections of homes being ripped to shreds and trees toppling. The storm system responsible for the damage is not done yet. Tonight, more than 60 million from Georgia to Maine are under wind alerts. The gusts could reach up to 60 miles per hour leaving many bracing for potential power outages and difficult travel before the extreme weather clears out. And George, George joins us now. George, everybody's looking forward to spring, so how soon before things are expected to warm up? Yeah, that's right, Peter. A lot of us expecting that warm-up, and the good news is that the East Coast is expecting to see a significant warm-up into next week. The region, some areas here, could see above-average temperatures by as much as 20 degrees by Wednesday. Peter? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.